Melbourne Stone here. I'm back with um, part three of my series of how to incorporate your children's artwork into your scrapbooking pages. I think this is a really important um, way of keeping memories of um, you know the things that your kids do rather than just the big events because I think for me it really just captures a, a moment in time and I really think that I want to look back on these little you know innocent pieces of artwork that my children have drawn and the examples that I'm going to be including on my pages today is this sort of series of drawings that my eldest daughter has done which um, are all sort of very similar things and therefore I, I don't really need to um, include all parts of them and all three of them onto my layout and uh, the other thing that you'll notice um, straight away about these pieces of art is that they're quite bright and quite vivid which is exactly what kids do um, so to sort of balance that on my page because I'm going to be including bits and pieces of these drawings on my page um, I really wanted to have a balance of some quite neutral pieces so I'm working with this bow bunny etc line and I'm the method I'm going to be showing you today is about um, using some um, picture frames or in this case some Polaroid frames that I'm using um, which come from my um, Heidi Swap memory file and so I've got out three Polaroid frames from that packet that I'm going to be using and I'm going to basically do a bit of a grid design on my page I've got my little photos here um, with my frames and I'm going to be filling up some of the frames maybe with a photo and some of the frames may maybe with um, you know just bits and pieces of these um, drawings obviously not upside down <laughs> and uh, so I'll work with these these um, sort of neutral colors and then just to capture back in some of the brighter colors I'm also want to include um, some bits and pieces from the Amy Tangerine sketchbook collection which I am totally in love with um, because you can see that these bright colors are very similar to these bright colors of um, my child's drawing so uh, I'm just going to basically put the making of my layout in fast forward so you can just kind of watch the process and and I have to admit even from the beginning right now that uh, I've got a little bit of a plan in mind but not very much so you'll be able to see this totally as it happens um, in in my world that I you know might change bits and pieces around as we go and you'll see that I'm probably quite indecisive about a lot of things and that's why it's in fast forward because otherwise it would take me forever.